you say, I want to keep my pump for a long time. And I'm going to show you today in this video how to keep your pump from overheating and getting too hot and burning the seals out of it. And so I'm Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com to help you grow your business, be successful, and to change your life. So this here is the old bypass hose off of this pump. So I've actually taken my fitting here in from the pump here and ran it into here that I took off. This is normally where you have your garden hose fitting and this hooks right here to your unloader right back into there. When I took this off here, what I do is, what happens is this right here, if we let off the trigger, this lets the water come out of here and back up into this unloader valve, be in this hose right here. So at this point, all we're flowing is water through this hose right here. So we're not talking very much, probably a quarter of a gallon, if that maybe. So if we just set our gun down and we're talking to Miss Rosie customer because they're wanting to be on your side and, and drive you nuts, this will cause your pump to overheat and cause the seals to go bad. Um, it can do all kinds of stuff, but what happened is you got all this high pressure in there. This one here is at 2,500 PSI, and it's just sitting there, and it's going through the unloader valve, causing this to overheat. So this is the whole purpose of a buffer tank. It's not so much that we can carry water to the jobs. Can we? Yes, we can. There's people that do, but, I mean, for you to carry water to the jobs, you got to carry a lot of weight. A lot of water to be able to house wash, you know, do house washes. So I carry a very small buffer tank, and this is the main. This is the main reason why I carry it is this right here. So I don't overheat my pump. It's not nothing to do with. Well, we gotta have all this water for the customer. That's a bunch of BS. It is true for some, but mostly, um, most people run these big 300 gallon tanks and then get there with no water in the first place. So at that point, you're useless. Now, is there other things we can do with that tank? Yes. You know, we can put signage on it. It takes up a lot of room. Um, and there is some things we can do. But you don't need a big old buffer tank. So we come out of our unloader valve here. I left this hose undone right now. And we come up here to our buffer tank. And what I do is, is I put... I just drilled a hole big enough inside my buffer tank. And what I did is, is I just slid the hose down in there. And on the other side here, I just put a fitting right here. So, because what happened is, this hose can, with that unloader valve, it will sit there and, and do one of these. And it will pull out of the tank and get you all wet and shoot you with water or put water everywhere else. Is that water going to hurt nothing? No, it's not going to hurt a thing. So that is why I make the hole just big enough to go down through the tank and then I'll put a fitting on there and then put a clamp so that way it can't come back out. And that works just fine. And so this is the whole reason right here why I run a buffer tank. Is it to help supply this thing in case the customer has bad water? A little bit because it don't take no time to hurry up and get 35 gallons full or 30 because five gallons is going to be where the uh, the fil the thing is. So, you know, I just need this buffer tank here for the purpose of keeping this pump overheating. Can we use big tanks? Absolutely. We I I've got big tank on one of our trucks, and we don't want our our guys to run. You know, 300 gallons of water is a lot of weight. You times that by eight, you know, that's almost a ton and a half of water. That's a lot of weight, guys. That's a lot of weight on these trucks. And you might say, well, I got the best truck ever. I don't care. It's hard on the brakes. You get in a wreck, you're going to kill somebody. Why? Because we got a full tank of water. Well, good for you. I don't. We don't like to carry it. I don't like to carry it. It's hard on our brakes. It's hard on our equipment. And so that's why I went with the smaller buffer tanks. And it's all for so that we have more water right here to um so it just unloads here versus it gets me you know 10 gallons 20 gallons of water that's gonna it's not gonna heat up on me at that point if it heats up on me that means 
I'm gabbing too long and I'm taking way too long than I need to with that customers keeping me there. But honestly, I can run this all day long and it's not going to go over heat on me. So that is why I cut this line off, took the, the fitting out of the bottom of the pump and went with a fitting in there and then I ran it. Um, you can use a 3 8 toes. You can use a half inch hose. I actually use 5 8 toes just because that's what I had. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of dumping that line back into there. So, if you want to check out my build video playlist, go check. Um, I'll see you over there.